This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control and today I want to do a product review of Raid Ant and Roach Spray. Is it worth the money? Is it worth buying at all? Hopefully this video will be helpful to you. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel and hopefully I'll be able to provide more reviews for you guys and let you know how a pest control technician sees a pesticide and if it's even worth for you to buy it. So RAID. RAID is something that most everybody has or most everybody's seen. Everybody knows what it is. RAID! RAID! Bingo! Remember the old commercials? <laughs> um, the bugs just melt away just at the mere mention of RAID. Is RAID a decent product? So the short answer is no, it's not. It's not horrible, but it's not a very effective product. When you read the label, and sometimes it even says right on there, 30 to 90 day uh, elimination of your bug problems, you know, and it's, it's just a little aerosol spray can. So a little bit of information about aerosols. A lot of people will have actually commented on my videos about bed bugs because I promote Crossfire. That's what I use for bed bugs. That's what I recommend that people should use for bed bugs in elimination of you know their bed bug problem because the bed bugs have not developed an immunity to Crossfire yet. And a lot of people will say, well, what about the aerosol? Because Crossfire comes in an aerosol can. And I usually respond and I say, you know, it's not really very effective in an aerosol can. And the reason being is that it doesn't last very long. <clears throat> the aerosols do something to the pesticide that makes them not last as long as other choices, like mixing it yourself with a concentrate. So this is something I go over in several of my videos, but today we're talking about RAID, but RAID is an aerosol. So the problem with aerosols is aerosols break down really fast, really quickly. Even if, they're, even if you use like a, a cypromethrin or you know, a, a synthetic pyrethroid that's really designed to last 30 to 90 days, uh, these pesticides, when, when under pressure with the different propellants in an aerosol can, they just don't last very long at all. But also another thing about RAID is RAID only does a kill on contact, which means because of the ingredients in the can, the, the bugs don't really want to crawl through the chemical. So let's say you, you take in, in some of these RAID cans have got a little uh, like a WD-40 tube on it and you could squirt it in the cracks and stuff just like you would if you were to use an, uh, an injector needle or something like that with a BNG. Um, the, the aerosols squirt right into the crack. It puts that pesticide residue right there in the crack where the bugs live, which if you've watched my general pest control video where I teach you how to do general pest control, which I'll link right here, um, that video goes over, um, you know, the, the why you need to spray in the cracks and crevices. But like I said, the problem with RAID is that it's got other ingredients in the can that make it break down. It just doesn't last very long. It's not very effective. But if you want to use the bug spray for a quick knockdown solution, so if you've got roaches and the roaches are living up behind your refrigerator or they're living underneath your kitchen sink, you can spray Raid in the cracks and crevices of these areas and it will chase the roaches out. You can use it as a flushing agent which is what us in the pest control call aerosols typically. 
is you, you put a little WD-40 tube on the end of the bottle and you spray it in the crack behind the baseboards or even up, like if you pull the refrigerator out for away from the wall and you treat where the cabinet, you know, a lot of refrigerators have that cabinet over above the refrigerator where it attaches to the wall, that little crack there that goes up behind that, spray in there with that raid and watch the roaches just pour out. Um, this is what this pesticide product is actually good for. It's not good as a total solution. It's not good for a, an actual long-term pesticide application. But it will do some knockdown and it will chase the bugs out from where they're hiding. What I would usually recommend when using a flushing agent or raid is treat with your pesticide first. Like, you know, in one of my other videos, I talk about home defense. Let's say you treat with some home defense, and then you take your raid and you spray in the crack right there where you can't maybe maybe can't get the home defense in there. Maybe you can't get your uh, pesticide residue to get up where you need to need to get it in the holes or in the cracks and stuff. So you you put that tube on the end of your raid can and you spray that stuff up in the wall or up behind your cabinets, right behind the cabinet where it screws to the wall. You spray in there and force those roaches out. So all those roaches get in that home defense or whatever else you've decided. I recommend Alpine WSG for the do-it-yourselfer. I think it works a lot better on roaches than home defense, which I go over that in my home defense, which I'll link that here too. So hopefully this video has been uh, educational. Hopefully it has shed some light on why Raid it really shouldn't be used as a pesticide. Um, actually, it shouldn't be used really much at all. If, if you're gonna do your own pest control, buy a quality product like Alpine WSG, which I'm gonna do a review on that as well. And I believe I've already done one on Crossfire, but if not, I'll do one on that too. But um, links in the description below, all of the products that I talk about on my channel are always listed below. So uh, hopefully this video has been um, educational. As far as ease of use, let's do our, let's do our rating now at the very end. So. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I go by two ratings. I go by ease of use, which how easy is it for the homeowner to purchase it and use it, and then how effective is it. So on a scale of 1 to 10, ease of use is probably about a 5. Now the reason I get it, now a lot of people will say, well why would you just give it a 5 right there in the middle range? Well because it's not a very good pesticide as far as to get it to go where you need the pesticide to go. Most of the cans don't even come with a WD-40 tube on them, which they should. But that's the way a pesticide works, is when you treat in the cracks and crevices. So that's why I'm giving it a five. I just don't think it's a very ease of use pesticide. It gets pesticide on everything. It squirts it all over the place. It makes an oily, nasty mess. And that's why I'm giving it a five on ease of use. And on, uh, on a scale of one to 10, as far as effectiveness, for the same reason the ease of use got so low, I probably have to give it about a three. If you're using ant and roach defense, you know, the, the raid ant and roach, um, it'll only kill ants on, on contact. It is not going to kill ants for the long term. It is not going to kill roaches for the long term. It's just a quick, psh, dead solution. But it's only a Band-Aid. And so hopefully this video has been uh, educational and, uh, and shed some light on why Raid is a joke. If you can buy it at Dollar General, it's probably a joke. You guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. Hey, and don't forget, live streams every Thursday night. You can get on here. You can ask me any questions you want. If you have problems with bed bugs, ask me. If you have problems with roaches, ask me. If you want to know any other pesticides that I use, you can come on my live streams and ask me, or you can check the description below. The link in the description below, I've got a page, Amazon page. It's got all the different products that I recommend for use in the pest control industry. I recommend them for technicians. I recommend them for homeowners. I recommend them for everyone. They are only what I have used and what I, I deem uh, you know, effective. So hopefully this video has helped you. Hopefully you will be able to get rid of your roaches and your ants and your fleas and your just all the bugs that you have in your home. You guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. And like I said, catch me on my live streams every Thursday night after nine o'clock. You guys have a great day. Really appreciate it. Thank you.